Madonna was actually going to be a prominent character in the Sonic series. Or did you know there was plans for a game that starred Sonic's sister? Well today, I'm diving into the most interesting unused enemies and characters that were removed from the Sonic series that you've probably never heard of. Like for example, did you know there was going to be a Metal Shadow at one point? Barely anything is known about this guy other than this one concept art of him. Basically, it's the Metal Sonic version of Shadow. He was going to be in the Sonic comic, but was removed for unknown reasons. But let's talk about the games, because this next enemy was found in the files of Sonic Adventure. And it's this multi-headed mechanical dragon. This was an unused boss battle, but people have been able to see him by hacking into the game's files. There's no attacks or anything for this guy, he just kind of flies around, so who knows how the battle would have played out. But his design is pretty sweet. Next we have a super simple character called a MIP. And I mean, yeah, just look at this thing. It's just a circle with eyes. Lovely. These guys were gonna be in the Sonic Extreme game, but were never used since the game was cancelled. And all these things were was the replacement for the animals in this Sonic game that you would save at the end of the level. But speaking of Sonic Extreme, here are two more characters with a much bigger role. The first of which is named Tiara Bubowski. Yeah, I'm not making that one up. And Miss Bubowski over here was gonna be the love interest for Sonic the Hedgehog, but with an attitude this time. She was actually gonna be the fourth playable character in this game to go along with the usual Sonic trio. There is even footage of what her gameplay would have looked like. This is cool to see because every character in this game would have their own style. Sonic would have had a fisheye lens 3D style, Tails would play in a first person flight mode, Knuckles used a top down view, and Tiara would be the only one in this more traditional 2D style. There was also a concept for her father, Gazebo Bubowski, but not much is known about him other than this concept art of his design. But now these characters are gonna get a lot more interesting, starting with a very important cut enemy called Zip. He was so important, in fact, that this guy was gonna get his own spin-off Sonic game called Segapede. Zip over here was a Batnik created by Eggman that was microscopic since he was a centipede. He would shrink in size when damaged too. And if the visuals for this game looked familiar, well, that's because it's actually the assets for the hidden palace zone in Sonic 2 that was cut out of the final game. However, while Sega liked the game, they didn't want Zip to be a part of the Sonic universe and changed the name to Astropede. But after spending over a year working on this new game, it was also cancelled as well, for a lack of resources. So Zip never made it into any release of any sort. But now let's get weird with one of the strangest enemies for a Sonic game that I've seen. His name is Binyanitik, probably named after, well, the Binyay Donuts. And I say this because he was supposed to be a Mardi Gras themed boss that would shoot necklaces and barrels at the player. He was going to be the boss of the scrapped Fat Tuesday Zone, which looked like a New Orleans type place. And all of this stuff never saw the light of day though, because it was supposed to be in the cancelled Sonic Mars game that was supposed to come out for the Sega 32X. The next character I find very interesting, because it almost replaced the iconic character of Shadow the Hedgehog. His name is Terios, which literally means reflection of. And he was gonna make his debut in Sonic Adventure 2 instead of Shadow. Same idea as Shadow here, but he looks even more like Sonic this time. This is probably why everyone was mistaking Sonic for Shadow in Sonic Adventure 2, because this character was supposed to be the one people were mistaking Sonic for. Where with Shadow, it's kinda obvious to see the differences. There's only a few concepts of this guy, but people liked him so much that 3D models and even even mods to include them in games were made by the fans. Sonic Frontiers, it was a good game, but no surprise, once again, it was rushed. And probably because of that, there were a few bosses that had to be cut out. However, people have discovered these guys and modded them back into the game. So there's a few unused variants for enemies that we haven't seen before, like this arachnid version of the spider enemy. But if we're talking brand new enemies, then there's this beetle boss that honestly gives me the creeps. I don't know, something about his little arms or whatever, just duh. He shoots off all these sphere orbs that you have to dodge, and to attack him, you first need to hit him on his back. Seems like it would have been a cool fight. Now here's a character that just about made it into Sonic Adventure 1. He was cut pretty far into development, so in some releases, he's still in the game's files. Using the debug mode, people have even got him back into the game to show how his animations would have looked like. Interestingly enough though, this guy did actually make it into a Sonic game, but much later in Sonic Mania. 
But speaking of the original Sonic the Hedgehog, it was actually gonna have two different storylines that were never used before eventually having the story we know today. And in these two storylines, there were many cut characters. The first story featured Sonic as the lead singer in a band. The rest of his bandmates were gonna be Sharps the Parakeet, Mach the Rabbit, Max the Monkey, and Vector the Crocodile, all of which were scrapped from the final game. Although Vector was the one member that did make it in later Sonic games. Sonic was originally gonna have to save his band members that Eggman captured along with the other animals. The final sequence was even gonna have Sonic jump to destroy Eggman's getaway plane, and then one of his band members would come in to save him, which would bring him back to the others where they would all celebrate together at the end. The second storyline that was pitched looked a lot weirder though because there was this piece of concept art that showed off a bunch of cut characters for this version. We got Glove Guy, Grape Guy, Cannon Guy, a uh, floating bat hand thing, um, uh, exclamation mark with feet, and Eggman mixed with a bumblebee? What? Also in this version, Eggman wasn't even gonna be the main antagonist, as it would have been this guy in the back named 13. I mean, I'm pretty sure he would have been the main villain. Just look at this picture. Who do you think looks the most like the main villain? Exactly, the hand. Not too much is known about the story, but according to Sonic character designer Naoto Oshima, this was gonna have Sonic in a world of nightmares. And if you notice, there's another pretty out of place person here, this girl in a red dress. This would have been a very significant character in the series, acting as Sonic's love interest in the game. Oh yes. See, Sega planned this human love story all along, even before Sonic 06 for some reason. And what was her name? Madonna, based on, yup, Madonna. Yeah, maybe it's a good thing they scrapped this character too. Sonic Mania had a lot of unused bosses that have since now been restored, so we can see what these battles would have looked like. There's a few unused bosses from characters we've already seen, like the Driller Droid or the Phantom King. But we do have a brand new enemy called an Egg Jenkin, whatever that means. But you have to play rock, paper, scissors with this guy by timing it when you hit this switch. All while avoiding this weird droopy spike ball arms. This guy was gonna be the mini boss for Studioopolis Zone, but ultimately went unused. And finally, here's a very odd character because Sonic was gonna have a sister at one point. Well, kinda. Alright, but there's a bit of a backstory with this one. So basically, there was this game called Popful Mail that was only released in Japan. Sega wanted to release this game in North America, but instead wanted to use more well-known characters like the Sonic cast. So Sega was gonna remake this game and call it Sister Sonic, with a new protagonist this time. Confusingly enough though, the main character wasn't gonna be Sonic's sister, but rather a female relative in the Sonic family. I guess we're talking a cousin or mom then, I don't know. However, apparently fans of Popful Male were pissed that they were replacing the cast with Sonic characters. So mad, in fact, that they wrote a bunch of letters to Sega voicing these complaints. I guess it was pretty bad because Sega caved into the feedback and released Popful Male as a faithful re-release in North America meaning that Sonic's female family member never saw the light of day. Subscribe if you enjoyed, because at 200,000 subs, I'm starting live streaming, and I'll see you guys next week.